Goalball is a sport that was started in uh, 1948, uh, just after World War II. It started in Austria and Germany for soldiers who had been injured during the war. It was a way to keep them uh, physically active, even though they lost their vision. It's uh, now a Paralympic sport. It's held, uh, there's world championships every two years. There's world junior championships. Both men and women play. It's played in over 70 countries in the world. The sport of goalball is played by visually impaired athletes. It's uh, played on a volleyball sized court with two nets at either end. Uh, three players on each side play at a time. And the ob object is they play with a bell ball that's about the size of a basketball. And the object is to bowl or bounce the ball past the other three opponents who are trying to defend the other goal. All the players are patched and wear blackout visors, so um, any level of blind athlete can play, whether you're a, what we call a B3, which would be about 10% vision, um, down to a totally blind athlete. It's definitely a new experience for most. Um, there's uh, a big adjustment to be made, uh, especially to people who have some vision, like myself. Um, it's a whole different approach to sport. Um, the fact that you no longer have your vision to rely on really changes the game a lot. But it goes beyond the hearing, really. It's about feeling where you are just in space, knowing where you are on the court. Um, sometimes that's almost more important than hearing for offensive purposes. So the hearing is really important defensively, but um, your other senses also need to kick in when it comes to throwing. So it's really a multi-sense sport. I used to be a sprinter for Canada. Um, retired from that a long time ago. And at the time, there was no goalball being played in BC. So me and a buddy got together and decided to start playing. When you're blindfolded, obviously, it's a very different experience. You have to be very aware of where the ball is, when you're not in possession of it, and where you want to put the ball. Communication is so key, and, and to know your, your players really well um, makes for a, a much better team, because you're not three players out there playing, you're one unit. You have to know what your other players are doing, because it's not an individual sport. You can't really go out there and play on your own. Our team gets along really well, and the coaches and the players, it's like, they're like your family, pretty much. When you look at sport for people that are blind, the sport are really minimal. It's, it's not too much. And, and for us, I guess, uh, it's maybe uh, a salvation. <laughs> I call it like that, right? It's, you gotta do something. Like, uh, for me, it's important because when I see these people playing at the level they can actually play the best they can be, it makes me proud. It's like, oh, wow, I, I, you know, I'm, I think I'm doing a good job. I'm doing something good. And if one day I think I'm not doing something good, I'll just do something else. Yeah. This year's a good year. We've, uh, we've got two teams going to the national championships with our men. We've grown our program enough. We have a women's team. We have both junior and senior uh, both junior teams are also going to nationals this year, so we've got enough players to develop that, uh, that base. It's growing around the province. It's, uh, there's kids playing up in the north, there's kids playing in the Kootenays. So it, it's around the province and it's uh, going to get better. Really, it's, it's become like a way of life to me. Um, it, it's you know, the drive to win, the drive to be successful, the drive to get a Paralympic gold medal. It just becomes a way of life. It becomes the, the ultimate goal. You just want to do everything you can to win that. And so it gets to a point where it's, it's, it means everything almost. Like it's, it's, you know, just about the most important thing that I've got going on. I've always loved goalball. It's a lot of fun. It's a great team atmosphere. You really get the feeling of, you know, um, being with the team and having to play as a team on and off the court and uh, becoming a leader and, and stuff like that. It's been a great experience. It's just a lot of fun to go out every weekend and practice and be with your friends, so. And of course I love the competitive atmosphere. <laughs> this sport is specially designed for blind and visually impaired. There is no sport like it for um, sighted people, so it just feels our sport and something that we can only do. And that's make it so special for us. <laughs>